In its war against dengue, the National Environment Agency will be sharing information about where there are relatively more Aedes mosquitoes. And this data, gathered from the Gravitrap surveillance system, will be on its website each month starting today. NEA says the Gravitrap data has helped it detect and remove about 20% more breeding spots in 2018 compared to 2017. Town councils say this would be helpful as an early warning sign even before an area becomes a dengue cluster. Melissa Goh tells us more. The gravity trap. Since 2017, 50,000 have been deployed at public housing estates island-wide, attracting and trapping female Aedes mosquitoes looking to lay eggs. Town councils say this additional information will likely work together with the dengue cluster system. Even before an uh, area becomes a dengue cluster, uh, we are able to take uh, more proactive uh, measures, uh, deploy additional uh, resources uh, to carry out additional inspections. And if it uh, subsequently becomes a dengue cluster, uh, then all the more, uh, more efforts will be required. It's more useful for the residents because in terms of information outreach, they have another platform rather than just the dengue cluster. So this will let them know, okay, there is a high count within their area on top of the dengue cluster that is being shown. Mr. Wee says the Aedes data may also be useful in helping them predict the direction dengue could spread, something that's crucial for proactive action. NEA says more than 80% or 854 dengue clusters identified since the start of the year are no longer classified as hotspots. Some of the largest clusters, like in Woodlands and Pasiris, are now closed. But still, newer ones are being formed in areas like Chua Chu Kang and Jalan Yunos. The number of weekly dengue cases also remain persistently high at above 500. NEA says high 80s Egypti mosquito population is among the key reasons for the current spike. According to its website, the area shaded grey have relatively more of 80s mosquitoes. NEA says such areas have a higher risk of dengue transmission, especially during peak season. It's hopeful this additional information will help residents take action. Could make a difference. If you see something that's kind of concerned, you would probably go and check for it. Yeah, I would. Maybe uh, the people there were uh, more alert. Uh, that place got more mosquito. NEA will roll out another 14,000 gravity traps at landed estates and new HDB estates this year. Well, let's cross over to Professor Tiki Pang, who is an advisor with the Asian Dengue Vaccination Advocacy. Uh, Professor uh, Pang, uh, tell us uh, more about this NEA's uh, Gravity Trap Surveillance System. Uh, how does it work? Well, the main, uh, the main objective of the Gravity Trap is to basically attract and trap uh, the female Aedes mosquitoes looking to lay their eggs. So it's a, a, a very simple, very low cost, easy to use innovation, which was um, actually uh, developed in uh, Singapore. So uh, I think it has been uh, quite effective because I think the research that's been done has shown that it has been able to track increases in the mosquito population. So there's a good correlation between the mosquitoes caught in the traps and the increase in the number of uh, mosquitoes, which is correlated with the increase in uh, number of cases. So is this system an effective way to um, battle dengue then? Yes, I think as a surveillance system, as I said, the research has shown that it has been uh, very effective in sort of uh, tracking the hotspots to sort of detect increases in the mosquito population. And are there any possible long-term consequences, though, of using the system? Uh, no, not really, because I think the idea, as I said, is to attract and then trap the female mosquitoes. So these are not mosquitoes looking to bite people. So when they are inside the, the gravity trap, it means that the female mosquitoes cannot escape and the eggs that they lay inside the trap also cannot escape once uh, they hatch. So they, they pose no risk to, to people because some people were concerned that the gravity traps can actually uh, lead to an increase in the mosquito population. Uh, that's not the case. Professor Pang, how is this an improvement in the way dengue used to be controlled? 
definitely, because I think the traditional way of uh, controlling dengue is through uh, spraying and fogging of insecticides. So in a way, this uh, complements the traditional uh, control approach. Uh, it's an improvement in the sense that it is actually trapping the female Aedes mosquito, which is really the, 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 the one that you want to target uh, in terms of reducing the numbers uh, during uh, an outbreak. outbreak. So it, it complements the traditional fogging and spraying, as well as, of course, importantly, uh, public education and, and awareness. When you say it complements, do you think this will sort of turn the tide, or do you think there is still more room for more to be done? Well, obviously, there is always uh, more to be done. I think the important thing is uh, not to have complacency amongst members of the public, especially during times like these. Um, during outbreaks, I think people are quite aware. The problem is in between outbreaks, I think you know people tend to forget, uh, and you need to sort of keep up the intensity of, of all these efforts. I think also, you know, uh, clearly with NEA, they cannot maintain a high level of intensity continuously all year round. During outbreaks, they will obviously have to focus uh, on the hotspots, but I think it complements uh, very nicely uh, the, the public education attempts. Uh, I think uh, just to mention that uh, it could also, another complementary technique which has really been pursued in, in Singapore is the new uh, vaccine against dengue, uh, which uh, may be useful as another way to, to control dengue in the longer term in certain parts of the population. But as individuals as well, Professor Pang, what can we do then? Well, obviously, you know, the, the, the standard uh, advice from, from, from the NEA, which everybody knows, is to keep your, your houses, your HDB flats free of uh, any stagnant water in, in potted plants, any areas in landed properties, the, the gutters, the awnings, uh, uh, in the evenings, uh, especially perhaps to avoid, you know, during dusk, to uh, avoid being bitten by, by mosquitoes, using mosquito repellent, wearing maybe long sleeve shirts if you're out uh, and about during the times that these, these mosquitoes uh, bite. And uh, at the same time, at the community level, to keep a lookout for any potential breeding sites. I think NEA, in fact, has an app where you can actually take a photo of a potential uh, breeding site, stagnant water where there may be mosquitoes breeding, and actually directly send it to NEA so that the officers can then come and, 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 and basically take care of the situation. Thank you so much, Professor Pang, for speaking to us. Professor Tiki Pang from the Asian Dengue Vaccination Advocacy.